Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love bite. Capricorn, let's see what uh, message there is here for you today in your love bite. This is the last one for the month of November. Uh, and of course, these are, not gen these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. A warm welcome back to all my subscribers. Welcome in newcomers. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So Capricorn, all right. Strength card, center of my spread. Somebody wants to communicate here, Capricorn. They do want to communicate, my God. Uh, they're just delaying it for some reason. They're delaying it, delaying it, delaying it because um, they feel that person is very, very upset with me, angry with me. Uh, let me just, you know, stand still for a while because um, what if it backfires on me? My person is very strong. I'm not even sure whether they love me or not. Mm, they're going through a tower, maybe. I don't know why, but feeling really devastated because there's been some petty behavior, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. As much as once one person wants communication, they're a bit afraid. They're trying to gather up their courage to do so. Okay, let's uh, start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we'll clarify these cards. So Capricorn and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Capricorn and their person. Capricorn and their person spirit. Thank you. Just a few more Capricorn from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Capricorn and their person spirit. Thank you. Just a few more from a third deck as well, Capricorn, and then we'll start your reading. Capricorn and that person. Capricorn and that person spirit. Thank you. All right, good to go. Let's start your reading. The first card here, Capricorn, says, Shame on me. I put others before you, and soon after, I realized they were of no value to me. Would you just stop holding back? Lay it all on me. I want you to reveal your true self to me. Tell me your hopes, your dreams, your fears and your vulnerabilities. What makes you tick and what you truly desire? During our separation, our love has only grown stronger. I long to see you again and unite as one. I just want to hold you now. It's been too long since you held me close and I'm aching for you. I hope you'll find forgiveness in your heart for me. I should have listened to my intuition. You deserve much more than what I could give you at the time. I'm planning a surprise engagement. I want to ask you to marry me. Will you say yes? I wish I could have loved you the way you deserved to be loved. I'm so deeply ashamed of my actions. I can't face you right now because of all the hurt I've caused you. Can you ever forgive me? If only you knew what I've been through to be at your side. Do you really know the sacrifices I have made? It hurts like hell when you push me away when all I do is fight for you and our love. I get so triggered seeing you do things for the karmic that I want you to do for me. It pisses me off because we should be together. Why are you wasting time for? Your coded cryptic messages and failure to answer questions drives me up the wall. If you are worried that the karmic is going to see, just call me and tell me the effing truth. It's the least I deserve. 
Okay, so Capricorn, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Capricorn. Healthful. Okay, it's time maybe to take care of your health, Capricorn. Not just your physical health, but maybe your emotional health as well. I do see somebody going through a huge tower moment and feeling very devastated right now. Could be some anger issues as well. Let's see. Uh, Spirit, what's the Eight of Wands for Capricorn's first card? Eight of Wands. Yes, yeah, somebody does want to communicate very, very badly because they're hoping they can have a, another chance, a revival. Wanting to start again, wanting to talk, can we just do, do, have a do-over? Uh, can we just end the past cycle of whatever's happened between us and can we have a brand new chapter? But the problem here, I think, is that the other person doesn't trust them or they could be feeling that their person is angry with them. Uh, whatever said and done, I think uh, whoever this person is who wants to now communicate, they do want to offer a stable brand new beginning and they are hoping that uh, there's this, they can, you know, make that person trust them again or at least lessen their anger towards them, put the burdens down of the past. Because this anger and upset and resentment is only causing a lot of blockage. Um, they have been watching, they have been spying, maybe not making a move, uh, waiting maybe when will this person be in a better mood or when will they trust me or when will they you know, not look, look so angry, when can I go and offer something. Uh, this uh, person who wants to communicate maybe has been waiting for the right time because they feel, uh, they feel if I go out of turn, it may just backfire on me. Knight of uh, Pentacles, yeah, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Things are only becoming more and more stagnant with time um, because the queen seems, at least that's how they see this queen, as their perfect partner but very upset with them. The, whoever wants to communicate and revive this connection, they feel a very strong bond with the person who's upset with them. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse, Spirit? Yes, this person is scared. This person is so scared that if they go back now, the fear is if I go back to the person who is my best friend, my passionate lover, my soulmate, if I do return back, I'm really scared that this whole thing is going to backfire on me. My person seems so upset and angry with me that they're just going to hold back from me because I fear that they don't love me anymore. Right, all the all the love is now gone or it's drained out. Uh, what's the strength card? Why is that the overall energy spirit, the center card? Yes, they're fearing that this Queen of Cups has emotionally walked away from them. What if I go and offer them a new beginning and they say, "No, I'm not interested. I'm too, you know, I'm too angry with you. I don't trust you, and I don't even love you anymore, and I walked away from you." Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse, yes, they, they know what they've done. They know that in the past, this person, they know themselves. I never apologized to them. I haven't even given them any kind of love offer. In fact, this queen was so loving and so kind and always pouring into me. And, you know, I took her for granted. I was rude. I was mean. I was, you know, harsh with my words. I was never open emotionally. This is a realization that's coming to them now and this person is going through a huge tower because now they're realizing I never laid a foundation. Without a foundation, now how do I go back? I gave them nothing to be able to have access back to this queen who I'm sure with my kind of behavior, my petty behavior, I've totally damaged this connection by now. So what's this uh, tower? What's the tower? What's the tower? Oh, the realization is also, oh wow, the realization is that they've realized that they are in love. The tower is that, what have I done? I've broken the heart of the person I love the most. That's the tower. Page of uh, Swords in Reverse Spirit. 
page of swords in reverse. Yes, this person is trying to figure out through spying or gossip or rumors, overthinking, trying to figure out the truth. What should I do? What should I do? They don't know how to put the work in now because they know what they've done in the past. They stabbed this queen in her back ten times, right? Betrayed her trust, ended this connection because they were maybe too prideful or too controlling or their heart chakra was just not open to accept the love that this queen was just pouring into them. Ten of swords, ten of swords, ten of swords clarified by the ten of swords, my God. This is like the ultimate betrayal. I mean, they know they've caused it and now they are feeling it. And they also know now that they've delayed coming back with an apology for too long. Nine, uh, nine of pentacles in reverse spirit nine of pentacles in reverse yes look at th they had a, they had an opportunity all along they had an opportunity to go back invest make this eight of pentacles into a ten of pentacles but they never took it they just delayed it and the more they've delayed it now the more they feel unlovable they feel that uh, their queen of cups doesn't love them anymore and will have strong boundaries up right so well somebody has to do something to make this back into a healthy connection maybe offer commitment make sure that they go and fill this queen's cup once again put make her in the upright once again uh, end this conflict and fight otherwise this queen of cups is going to permanently put that lid on that cup of love so that's what I have for you Capricorn today. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.